in like you did? Yeah. Um, so here we are talking with uh, Dr. Leonora Rhodes, who um, is offering uh, a VIP day peak performance program what are we going to call this? This is an amazing, this is an amazing offering that you have for people who are going to get so much out of it. Yeah. I, I'm just going to leave it to you to describe what, <laughs> Thank what you. this program is because yes. I just can't believe it. So, yeah. please. so, so I have an online program um, called Peak Life Design. And, and the idea is that um, it's for people who, um, like their life it's okay but they are kind of aware that they have more potential and there are things that they really want to do and they they want to elevate their life and it's also for people who have maybe had a lot of success in their life but they're still leaving P people often say to me I kind of feel a bit empty you know I'm, I may have have all these accomplishments but I I feel a little bit empty and unfulfilled and that kind of nagging sense of is this it I, I hear that a lot from uh, from people that I work with and so I, the, the online program, it, it's just about to come out in a new form. And uh, um, a year ago, I decided to offer it for a group of women as a VIP day. And um, we did this in Manhattan and they absolutely loved it. In fact, one of the women said, um, please don't ever tell my husband that I said this, but this was the best day of my life. And so we're going to recreate this here in uh, here in New Canaan. The idea is that it is an immersive day where people come and um, and 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 we dive deep into who they are, what their life is like. And I'm a big believer that you don't want to change the things that are currently working, you know, you, but you need to find out what they are so you can make sure that you protect them. Because sure. I've worked with a lot of people who've made radical changes in their life only to realize that they've jumped out of the frying pan into the fire and that, you know, that they've just traded the old problems for a whole new set of problems. Mm -hmm. And and then they often miss the life that they used to live. And so the idea is, you know, you find out what you love about your life and what you don't love about your life. And then you, you know, uh, and you begin from there. And yeah. then the next stage is to envision and get big and bold and ambitious about the life that you want to create and who you want to become in the process. And, um, and, you know, this process sounds, sounds simple, but it takes, it takes hours and hours to do. And, um, and, and then we go into, okay, this is the life that I want to create. How am I going to do it? So we get into kind of the planning phase. And then there's a final phase where we um, delve into how do you become the best version of yourself? How do you become a peak performer? So that this life that you want to create, you dramatically increase the chances of creating it quickly and effectively and creating change that will last as well and so that's that's kind of what happens in the day um and it's very experiential a lot of um there's there's you know, a mixture of teaching of concepts from personal development and also from wellness training. Um, and, uh, and, but also a lot of exercises where people journal and then they share with a partner or they share with the group. And together we kind of, you know, we learn and grow together. And that there's something very special about the group dynamic. It was funny when I led this VIP day in, in Manhattan, it was um, a, a marketing person and three data analysts analysts and the three data analysts they was were all women the three data analysts said by the way we must warn you we, we never share anything personal <laughs> by the end <laughs> everything was out everything was out. everything's out yeah exactly so that you know they were they were kind of sharing experiences and and the, and, and I think they really realized that you know when when you share not only do you learn a lot about yourself by sharing, but you also offer hope and um, inspiration to the other people in the group. And so, so there's a beautiful thing that happens in a group that is a little bit harder to do on your own. Sometimes you can achieve it in one on one coaching. But, you know, if you get if you get a, a really good group of people together, it's, it's like watching magic happen. Um, so that's the idea of the day. And it would begin, you know, um, kind of mid morning about 10am uh, with a 
with a break for for lunch and some kind of leg stretching and and a bit of relaxation and then uh, and then run till you know I'm I'm envisaging in <laughs> I'm struggling to say that I see envisioning it, I, envisioning that's the one I see it, <laughs> I see it running till you know like four o'clock in the in the afternoon and okay. the idea so I used to work for Tony Robbins as a coach and um his model was that you'd take people for four days over, you know, over a weekend and you'd do 50 hours. And it was great in some ways, but the problem I saw with it was that people were usually completely exhausted by the experience. It was just too, for most people, 50 hours over four days is just too much. Like that's Very a lot intense. of your nervous system they would inevitably get ill afterwards and and also that that and and them getting ill and being overwhelmed would lead to them not implementing anything and it always felt like such a shame to me and i think you know that those events are amazing but i think with a with a shorter immersive experience you you know it it's your nervous system can cope with that amount and then you immediately get on with implementing. You don't have to wait till you fly home or whatever, you know, you can, you right. can begin implementing it that day. And so that was kind of, you know, that was where the idea came up with uh, that. That's where the idea came from. And, um, and I'm really excited about offering it locally. I think it's great to offer this locally because you'll you'll be able to reach people who otherwise would not travel yes for this kind of event who would benefit immensely from it yes absolutely you know there are many people that um you know and we've discussed this many times who you know go and do do live their lives by bumping into things, bumping into one thing after another, and you just do the routine, one thing after another. You don't know why you're doing it yeah. because you've been doing it. This is the way you've done it for the past 10 years and you're gonna do it for another 20. And that's the way it is. That's the way it's always gonna be. But you and I both know, and I think that we have this in common is that you have points in your life where you have to make a decision yeah you know am I going to do this or am I going to do that what what is it going to be yeah and when it comes time to step up hmm. you know you not a lot of people you know think about that they don't get the opportunity to do that because yeah. many people are afraid of that yeah absolutely Absolutely. you know and and it's uncomfortable yeah and I think and, that's why in the group yeah. that you know in the in the group setting seeing that you're not alone in taking this brave move it can yes. really help people uh you know to to get to get over that and and fear is a natural response fear is a fear is a good thing it's there to protect yeah. you but you know we have to be careful that it doesn't limit us and prevent us from doing things that we really really want to do and oh uh, sure yeah. but I also think that um the group uh idea when people are sharing when we're talking about sharing in a group when you share in a group what you say what you share makes it true you know like if you tell somebody I want to do this I'm going to do this. Yeah. Then verbalizing that and saying that to another person, that yeah. makes it like, it's really? like, oh, you're gonna <laughs> do that. okay. Yeah. And it's very interesting, you know, in the group setting, people often say things that are like, huh, I didn't know that that was there you know I didn't yeah. know that I, I thought or felt that and it, it and it wasn't till I heard other people talking that that kind of bubbled up for me and I kind of realized what I what I really want and you know you and I have talked a lot about you know being in being intentional and uh, you know I'm, I'm a huge believer in that we can you can either like you said plod through life bumping into things settling for what life throws your way and uh, or, or you can be very intentional you can decide these are the things that I want and that I'm going to do everything within my power 
to to get there and you know and and you mentioned decision making it can be very hard for people to make big big decisions about life transitions i've worked with many people you know who are in a career transition or maybe their you know, relationship is ending or a new one is beginning and these these are times when you know it can be very difficult to make a decision but it's also a very important time to be intentional and to to take control of your life not let somebody else yeah. got you know determine where but you even are. from the little decisions all the way up to the big decisions yeah. i mean aren't isn't a big decision just a series of small decisions you should, yes absolutely and you can break it down to be so <laughs> for yeah. Sure. yeah if you think of it right so a practical question yes does this course work well with what size group yes and yeah that's a really good question we're going to limit the group to 10 people um, okay and um i think you know th that that's between four and 10 people um, is kind of the sweet spot of being able to, you know, have enough people, but, it, but it remain, we need this to be a safe space. And when people come in, I get them to sign a confidentiality, um, you know, form so that they, you know, they, they commit to not sharing what they have heard in the room, you know, um, yes. and uh, what stay, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas type of, exactly. type of scenario, you know, people, people will only open up and, and share if they, if they feel safe. And that's, that's very, very important. Um, okay. Good. Good to know. Yes. And, yes. um, and so, um, dynamically, do you, are you going to break people down into smaller groups? Do you, or is it a big circle or how does that, how does that kind of work? It, Just for people to know. All of those things will happen. Okay. <laughs> all of those things will yes, happen. All of those things. So some of, you know, some of the, some of the kind of, um, journaling and sharing and exercises will be done with the whole group and some of them will be done um kind of splitting into into twos or you know twos or threes so I'll I'll kind of mix it up a lot um and I I think you know that 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 tends to the, the variety tends to work well okay um is there any kind of a prerequisite for this day should you have been through coaching should you have any a priori knowledge of anything should you bring anything to this group so the answer is no you come you know with an open mind you come ready to you know ready to learn be curious and and ready to you know embrace what you hear and and be open to you know to, to making changes there are however people for whom I would say this program is not for them um, this is not for people who uh, I a lot of coaches don't have a boundary around this, but I really do. If you are suffering from active mental illness, mm -hmm. then I would ask that you get the the kind of thumbs up from your health provider before you do this program, um, because this is not therapy. This is coaching. They are two quite different things. Absolutely. And yeah, absolutely. And, and I am not a licensed therapist, but I am a very experienced coach. And so, you know, I, 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 I you know, my, in the UK, we did, you know, when we trained as, as physicians, we promised to do no harm. And I, I don't want to do harm to anybody, you know, anybody in the group. So I, you know, that is, that is the main thing. I would also say, if you are somebody who's very rigid and not open to new things, and if you're somebody who's, um, you know, very critical of other people and, and inflexible, then this program might not be for you and you might not be a good fit. And okay. Yeah. Um, so, and I have, you know, I have been in group dynamics where there's, there's a naysayer, where there's somebody who's just like constantly arguing and, um, and, and putting ideas down that, you know, I, I don't think anybody would sign up who was like that, but we want to avoid, you know, we, we want to have a, a good energy in the room. And, um, you know, and I think th this, this would work well with a group of strangers and it would also work well with a group of friends. If there were a gr group of, you know, girlfriends and yeah. this group that I did last year, 
it was it was two friends who then you know th th then invited a different circle of friends to come and so that you know that that's that that works quite well um so so yes yeah, so i I, th I think it's more about who it's not for than than who it is for does that make sense yeah absolutely and i think people need to be aware of that that there are you know certain certain people it's not for or you know if you're expecting you know certain things that you know, it's not going to be for you. It's not therapy. That's a really important distinction. I think it's really important. It's not, it's, it's not group therapy. It's not group therapy. It's not an addiction workshop. It's not <laughs> anything like that. So it's, it is what it is. It is what we described. Yes. Um, and so um, having, so after you, uh, after one goes through this course, after this, after this day is over yeah. and, you know, you leave the studio, um, what happens next? So next is a month of virtual coaching in the group. So we bring the group back together. And this was requested from the, the, the first time I ran this event that, um, you know, we have some accountability going forward with the, with the group. And so I, you know, I will be facilitating the, the group continuing for a month with a, um, with a weekly meeting where we get together, everybody, you know, um, makes, a, a, and, and here's what works. So kind of reviewing the, you know the um, commitments that you set to yourself how did you do having an honest review of that uh, you know did you did, would you give yourself a zero out you know a zero out of 10 for effort or would you know was it a five or was it an eight and and you know and and so I'm a huge believer that the review process is is extremely important in personal development it helps you tweak things before you've gone too far and so um you know so I so I think that is going to be a really good addition to the program oh that's wonderful so you don't just say okay see ya exactly it's not, <laughs> it's not that yes. that's I think that's wonderful and that's that's really good for people to know too because you know I think that's a big question that's that's in that would be in a person's mind like all right I've gone through this whole intense experience and I want to make these changes but then what happens yes. you know so having that support and being able to just carry on that for at least a little bit of a time and it, you know, that tail of, yeah. of a month is, is, um is really, really helpful. And it's part of the, it's part of that whole, it's part of that program. Yes. Absolutely. So I, I think that's wonderful. And I, and I think, you know, what, what I could envision happening is that maybe the group want to continue after that. And that would be, you know, that would be optional, but I, but I think at least a month support afterwards to start to really get to, to implement what you've learned would, would be extremely useful. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. So um, anything else you would like people to know about, about this, about this day, about this program, about about the wonderfulness of you, <laughs> about any of well, this. that goes without saying. Um... Oh, I know. <laughs> it just goes on and on. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I hope it comes across how much I love this work. I really, I, it's my, it, you know, it's my favorite thing to do. I, I love working. Um, I love working one-on-one -on -one with people, but there's something very special about the group dynamic. So I'm, I'm really excited to do this work and I hope we get some really good, uh, you know, groups of people um, doing this program and, um, you know, don't delay life is your, your best life. Your peak life is out there waiting for you to to come and seize it and create it and um yeah that's that's all I got <laughs> I think that's a great note to end on thank you so much you're very welcome bye for now <laughs>